Jewish mysticism, also known as Kabbalah, is a rich and intricate tradition that delves into the mystical aspects of Judaism. Central to Kabbalah are its teachings, which hold profound significance in shaping the understanding and practice of Jewish mysticism has had a significant impact on the lives of the Jewish and other people around the world. Fundamentally, the goal of Kabbalah is to understand the essence of God, the human soul, and the universe's hidden meanings and secrets. It explores fundamental questions including the meaning of life, the origins of the universe, and the interdependence of all things. The roots of Jewish mysticism can be traced back to the period of the Second Temple, around the 10th century BCE. During this time, early mystical ideas began to emerge, influenced by Jewish apocalyptic literature and Hellenistic thought. The Sefer Yetzirah or Book of Creation, considered one of the earliest Kabbalistic texts, emerged during this period, exploring cosmological themes and the mystical significance of Hebrew letters and numbers. Kabbalah provides a unique lens through which to interpret and understand sacred texts, such as the Torah and the Zohar. Kabbalistic interpretations go beyond the literal meaning of the words, uncovering deeper layers of symbolism and hidden wisdom. This approach enriches the study of Jewish texts and offers new perspectives on their spiritual and mystical dimensions. One of the fundamental concepts in Kabbalah is the belief in the Sephirah, which are ten emanations or aspects of God's divine attributes. Every Sephirah represents a different aspect of God's nature, such as wisdom, understanding, and mercy. These Sephirah form a complex and interconnected system that serves as a map to understanding the universe and our place within it. The Sephirah, also known as the Tree of Life, are seen as channels through which the divine energy flows from the highest realms to the physical world. They are considered the building blocks of creation and represent different aspects of God's nature and the cosmos. The tree of life in the Kabbalah represents the ten divine emanations or attributes through which the divine essence manifests in the world. These attributes serve as a framework for understanding the nature of God, the creation of the universe, and the spiritual journey of individuals. The tree of life is not merely a static figure, but a dynamic depiction of the divine realms and the individual's spiritual progression. It serves as a guide, illustrating the various phases and processes one encounters on their path to spiritual awakening. Each sephira represents a unique aspect of the divine and contributes to the harmonious functioning of the universe that the individual seeks to integrate with themselves. 1. Chakama, or Wisdom represents divine wisdom, intuition, and creative inspiration. It embodies the ability to perceive hidden truths and gain insights beyond rational understanding. 2. Keter, or crown, represents the highest divine attribute, symbolizing the infinite and unknowable essence of God. It is associated with spiritual unity and the source of all creation. 3. Vina, or understanding, represents understanding, discernment, and intellectual depth. It is associated with the capacity to analyze, synthesize, and comprehend complex concepts. 4. Cheesed, or kindness, represents loving-kindness, compassion, and generosity. It embodies the attribute of benevolence and the desire to bestow goodness upon others. 5. Jevura, or strength, represents strength, discipline, and judgment. It embodies the attribute of restraint and the ability to set boundaries and uphold justice. 6. Typhrit or beauty represents harmony, balance, and beauty. It is associated with the integration and synthesis of different aspects of balancing compassion and strength. 7. Netzek, or eternity, represents endurance, victory, and perseverance. It embodies the attribute of determination, enabling one to overcome challenges and achieve long-lasting success. 8. Hod, or Splendor, represents splendor, gratitude, and humility. It is associated with the attribute of appreciation, recognizing the beauty and abundance in the world. 9. Yesod, or Foundation, represents foundation, stability, and connectivity. It is associated with the attribute of bonding, serving as a bridge between the spiritual and physical realms. 10. Malkut, or kingdom, represents sovereignty, manifestation, and receptivity. 
It embodies the attribute of divine presence in the material world, where the divine plan is realized. By exploring and integrating the Sephirot or the Tree of Life, individuals can cultivate a deeper connection with the divine, align themselves with divine qualities, and contribute to the harmony and betterment of the world. It serves as a guide, illustrating the various phases and processes one encounters on their path to spiritual awakening. By exploring and integrating the Sephirot or the Tree of Life, individuals can cultivate a deeper connection and align themselves with the divine, and contribute to the harmony and betterment of the world. The Sephirotic system emphasizes the need for balance and rectification of the divine attributes within oneself. By harmonizing and balancing these attributes within, individuals can rectify their own spiritual state and contribute to the rectification of the world as a whole. Another central idea in Kabbalah is the concept of Tikkun Olam, which translates to repairing the world. This principle suggests that through spiritual practices, Individuals can contribute to the healing and restoration of the world, bringing it closer to its original state of harmony and perfection that guides individuals in their pursuit of spiritual growth and the betterment of the world around them. According to Kabbalistic teachings, this imperfection arose from a cosmic event called the shattering of the vessel, which caused spiritual sparks to scatter throughout creation. Tikkun Olam therefore involves the gathering and reintegration of these divine sparks to restore harmony and balance to the world. In Kabbalah, Tikkun Olam places a significant emphasis on both individual and collective responsibility. It recognizes that each person possesses a unique role in contributing to the repair of the world. Tikkun Olam recognizes that the repair of the world begins within oneself. Through acts of kindness, compassion, and self-improvement, individuals can uplift themselves and, in turn, positively impact the world around them. By working collectively, communities can create a ripple effect that extends far beyond their immediate surroundings and encompasses the pursuit of social justice and ethical living. Advocacy for the oppressed, caring for the vulnerable, and striving to create a just society are seen as integral aspects of repairing the world. It encourages individuals to engage in introspection, identify their own flaws and negative traits, and work towards personal transformation. By healing their own souls, individuals contribute to the collective healing of the world, creating a ripple effect of positivity and spiritual growth. The 16th century marked a period of renewed interest in Kabbalah, particularly in the city of Safed, in Israel. Rabbi Isaac Luria, known as the Ari, revolutionized Kabbalistic teachings with his system of Lurianic Kabbalah. His ideas influenced subsequent generations and shaped the mystical understanding of concepts like Tzimtzum and the Sephirot. Rabbi Chaim Vital, a disciple of the Ari, documented the teachings of his master, preserving and disseminating Lurianic Kabbalah for future generations. In the 20th century, figures like Rabbi Yehuda Ashlag or Baal HaSulam and Rabbi Yehuda Leib HaLevi Ashlag or Rav Ashlag made significant contributions to Kabbalah, making it accessible to wider audiences of people and adapting its teachings to contemporary times. To this day, Kabbalah continues to be studied and practiced by individuals around the world, both within traditional Jewish community and by those seeking spiritual wisdom outside of Judaism. Kabbalistic teachings have gained popularity beyond religious circles, with various interpretations and practices, merging with New Age spirituality. Kabbalah has had a profound influence on Jewish thought, philosophy, and religious practice. It has shaped the beliefs and practices of many Jewish communities throughout history. Kabbalistic concepts and ideas have been integrated into various aspects of Jewish life, including prayer, ritual, ethics, and mystically inspired movements such as Hasidism. While rooted in Jewish tradition, Kabbalah also holds universal spiritual wisdom that resonates with people from diverse backgrounds. Its teachings on the interconnectedness of all beings, the pursuit of inner transformation, and the quest for unity with the divine have inspired individuals from different faiths and spiritual paths.